In less than one week, two Lexington High School athletes have been shot and killed. Last Sunday, former Tates Creek basketball player Michael Wade died. And yesterday morning, Michael Proctor was killed. Proctor played football at Frederick Douglass High School in Lexington. And LX18 Sophia Millar spoke to one of his former coaches, who is calling for an end to gun violence. That's tonight's big story at 6. Coach Jeff Poe met Michael Proctor through the Frederick Douglass High School football team. Um, he's always the kind of kid that had a had a big bright future in front of him. Um, he could do anything that he wanted to. Poe says Proctor was stubborn and hard headed in the best kind of way. He would look me right back in the face and said, "I can go up against anybody at this kind of weight, and I'm going and I'm going to whoop their tail and give them everything I got." And that's one of the things that I really cherished about him is no matter the challenge, that he was willing to step up and go one-on-one, -on -one, toe to toe with anybody. The 17-year-old athlete was killed Friday morning in a shooting near downtown Lexington. This less than one week after a Tates Creek high schooler died because of gun violence. We need to do something as a community, as coaches, as staff at schools, as a community, as just people around to help our young people, but also to help these adults out here as well as is coming together and understanding that picking up guns and, and doing these things are not the answer. They're not going to do anything to help us. It's just going to keep tearing us down. Poe says he's trying to be strong in the face of this tragedy and help his players cope with the loss of their friend and teammate. I want all of them to know they have plenty of people inside this community that are willing to lend a helping hand, a shoulder just to lean on, that somebody to sit there to listen. If they need anything to let us know, we'll do anything we possibly can for them. In Lexington, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News. The investigation into yesterday's shooting is still ongoing. If you have any information, police ask that you contact them at 859-258-3600.